The ones on the table are your work, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Mum, this is this is your passion. This is something that you yeah. started. Uh, so, so, so why? Um, well, um, kind of how I got into it was a bit by accident. Um, I found a red squirrel, that one actually, on the side there, in a junk shop quite a few years ago now. And I wasn't sure at the time whether it was horrid, but it just intrigued me, so I went back and bought it. And then I started taxidermy from there. Yeah. I never actually planned to, to get into stuffing animals. And I think it's Angus watching me that's done that with his own passion of natural history. Where do the animals come from, Angus? Uh, some of them have been roadkill, obviously hit by a car. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Some of them have died naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so these are. It's a, there is an ethical side to yeah. to what to the artistry that you're doing here. Mm. Yeah. And we've got your first one that you did over yeah. here. This is the the crow, and that was the first one. So how how old were you when you did that? Uh, I think I was five when I five did years it. old. I mean, it's an unusual hobby for a five year old, yeah. isn't it? And what is your fascination with, with doing this? Uh, Why do you like it? Because it's basically, it's turning nothing, which a dead animal you can't use anything for, into a kind of decoration or something you can be proud of. And you like, you also like the, um, the sort of, uh, just anything to do with animals. So yeah. the bones and the, the way they are, and, and you, you're to that sort of natural yeah. world you're intrigued by, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. And, uh, well, and not, not, just, not just taxidermy, but, um, but also uh, insects as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I you've, have... you've got a collection, haven't you? Yeah, I have um, quite a few pinned ones, which is entomology, and I have living insects as well. Oh, do you? Yeah. OK. And you have a hero. I mean, many people have yeah. this man as their hero, but for you, he's extremely special. Yeah. Tell us who that is. David Attenborough. And you were lucky enough to meet yeah. him, weren't you? And whilst I was waiting, in the line, he I spent six signing, hours making this um, arrowhead. Oh wow! So um, he he's touched this and. <gasps> and so, what did he special. say to you when you? Because he was doing a book signing, wasn't he? So yeah. you're standing in the queue, and whilst you're waiting for all that time, uh, you decided to hone down this piece yeah. of slate, make your arrowhead. And when you got to him, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, "You could kill a woolly mammoth with this." <laughs> there you go. And so, um, so what's the what's your ambition then? Because obviously, this is this is a skill not to everyone's tastes. Yeah. We've got to say, but uh, but this is a, a skill. You have your own very unique look. Um, which, uh, which, which you absolutely love. Um, so lots of tweeds and the bow ties. You look really, <laughs> really smart. Um, what's the dream? Uh, to do anything with, to working with animals or entomology or anything like that. Mm. You I also like them. live animals too, yeah. don't you? You have a collection of live animals at home yeah. as well, don't you? So, so in what way would you like to work with live animals? Uh, Possibly at a zoo, maybe. Yeah. Or something like that. Well, I'm sure you'll do it if you have that passion inside you, and it's obviously something you love so much. We've um, we've actually got a bit of a treat for you. We do. Um, knowing that uh, knowing that you are a um, a big fan of entomology, um, uh, so That's if for you'd you. like to have that, you've got two tickets courtesy of the Natural History uh, London to uh, to the exhibition. This is Venom killer a cure and it's a, an amazing exhibition they've got I was just reading about it earlier on they've got live venomous creatures insects with some of the most powerful venoms known to science they've how cool is that flower urchins um, they've got box jellyfish so there were all sorts of bits and pieces I mean that's a, a fascinating aspect of the of the natural world you're also going to meet one of the museum's science educators who's going to give you a tour of some of the galleries and answer any questions about entomology and taxidermy that you might have so directly that's directly involved in in your hobby so enjoy that enjoy thank you yeah have fun thank you for showing us what you've what you've made nice to meet you thank you thank you very much thank you, thank you.